G'day, this is Adam VA from AVA Magnetic Levitation Australia. What you've just seen is a just a brief demonstration of prolific graphite disc levitating over one magnet. Uh, I fixed it to a steel plate to slightly increase the effect, but um, it can be done without the steel plate. This is just a ring magnet, grade N46. Um, this is a piece of prolific graphite uh, diameter I can't remember. Remember it being about 2.8 millimeters thick, and um, it still levitates. But um, just so I could film the gap, I needed to increase the effect a little bit. So let's put it back on the steel plate. Basically, pyroelectric graphite generally needs to have a north and a south field to function. Um, what's actually happening here is there's um, a ring magnet and ring magnets generally have, uh, say you've got a north field on the top here, you'll have a south shadow pole which sort of pops up through the middle here and um, by putting the pyrolytic graphite there there's just enough um, lift to um, basically get it to work or function. When you do diamagnetic opposition levitation, which this actually is, um, it's normally got a opposition field or opposition magnetic array um, like with this product that I sell basically you find that you've always got a um, opposition field, a north and a south or a south and a north um, pyrolytic graphite is placed over the top it tends to levitate and the gap in the height is, is uh, you know, much more increased than the other experiment you've just seen um, also the other product I sell at the moment as well. Both these products have been aligned for like eight years or something, ten years nearly. The same sort of principle. It has a north, south, north, south, or a south, north, south, north. Um, it doesn't really matter which way the, around the fields are, the effect will always be the same. As long as the magnets are in opposition with each other in close proximity, the pyrolytic graphite will generally always want to levitate above it. Also, in the case of uh, rails, um, which this guy was in one of the videos I did previously, um, Lev border or the hover border. Um, basically, same thing applies: uh, north, south, north, or south, north, south. And um, yeah, generally, probably for graphite, same thing again. Will always levitate and generally try and follow along the lines of the um, joins in the magnets. So, there you have it. There's the experiment anyone can do. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe, share, spread. I'll have a product release in the next week and a half. So, this is Adam VA from ABA Magnetic Levitation Australia, signing out. And, hope to see you next time.